the APC Mega Rally here in Ilesha, the second largest city in the state of Oshu. And uh, I'm just walking straight to His Excellency, the Governor of the state of Oshu, the APC candidate in the next governorship elections. Well, it's uh, glad to make your acquaintance, Your Excellency. We could see the excitement uh, that you had been demonstrating when you arrived at this arena. Uh, well, we believe that you are here to request for another mandate of four years from the people. Is that not so? Well, it's not to. We are requesting. But we are simply reminding our, our people of the fact that democracy is a process of government in which the people on their own select whoever they believe can serve their interests best. We have been serving the people assiduously for the past 43 months. And we are here to again emphasize the need for good governance, for a governance with human face, for a responsible governance that we meet all the needs, all the desires, all the aspirations of the people. That is what we are here to do. And I'm happy the people are in permanent resonance with us. They are quite agreeable to our objective desires and wishes. I do not have any doubt in my mind that the majority of our people are solidly behind us. And they will return us on the 9th of August for another four-year term. Now, do you believe you deserve another four-year term? Do you believe that you deserve another four-year term? Absolutely. Can you tell us why? I've told you, from even this large turnout, it does not require much of a proof. How many people can, with a call, attract this mammoth crowd? What, that's one. Two, there is no household here that we have not touched. We feed their children in school, nutritious and sumptuous meal. We build new schools for them, schools that qualify for the best or as the best in any part of the world. We clothe the children smartly, freely, and freely too. We provide empowerment for youth who have left school but without job. We cater for the elderly who lack care. We develop infrastructure that will grow the economy. We are expanding the economy phenomenally. A, a financial analyst has identified our state as the state next to Lagos with the highest GDP per capita. We provide ambulance service the first time in this of this state, 24-7, for our citizens who are in any distress. We are everywhere. We, we, we supply our students in high school tablet of knowledge on which to have all the books they require free of charge. Security is guaranteed. In all, in all the sense of it, there is no aspect of governance that we are found wanting. We are supporting farmers. We provide farmers with inputs to ensure that their yield is bumper. Therefore, there is no aspect of social, political, economic life of the people that we have not told. If government is defined by how it affects and its impact on the people who have been phenomenal in the way we go about it. Now, it appears as if the APC is under siege in the southwest. We know the events of the last uh, governorship election in the neighboring uh, state of Ekiti. Now, do you think you stand a chance against the PDP's invasion? Let me, let me qualify something. We are not under any siege. Marugas, Marugas, I hope you know the meaning of Marugas. Marugas are indeed all over the place, but they know they are equal when they get one. We are not in any way threatened by their, by their, by their marooning antics. 
we are not threatened. We are so sure of our 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 influence, our impact, and the love, attraction, and total support the people give us. So the question of siege does not exist here. True, they are threatening to use the federal might here, but we see it as just a, 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 mere, a mere threat, a mere threat that will not amount to much. We are prepared for them. We know that their tantrums, their tantrums, will amount to nothing but figment of imagination. There is no siege here. We are cool, calm, and collected. We are working with our people. We are mobilizing them. They are properly motivated. And certainly, when the night of August comes, they will enthusiastically, massively, return us with their votes. And, and the, the boisterous, the boisterous grandstanding of the Marudin, the Marudin party will come to nothing. We are in the season of bragging and boasting. Their bags, their boasts will be deflated on the night of August. And they shall be totally bashed. When they are bashed, they will know their situation and will remain there forever. This is the final battle between light and darkness. Certainly, light will prevail. We are going to prevail over the marauding forces of PDP. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Well, I've been speaking with His Excellency, the Governor of the State of Oshu, His Excellency Engineer Raouf Arebeshola, and of course, a demonstration and expression of confidence of his abilities to take the day when the APC faces off against the other political parties at the polls. Well, I'm just about to leave the platform and the governor